Hey, welcome to Alan's Woodworking. I'm Alan. Today we're going to be working in FreeCAD. We are going to be building a pulley out of primitives. Uh, so we won't be doing a lot of drawing. We're just going to take these parts and manipulate the shapes to get what we want. So you don't have to fool with constraints or anything else. So I think it's simpler. Some people may not. Some people say it's faster or whatever. I don't know. But this is just one way of doing it. So we're going to go ahead and open this up a new one. And, well, it's already on parts, so make sure it's on parts. That way your uh, primitives or solids will show up. Go over here and create a solid. And I'll give you a 3D view. You better make that small because these things are really small in dimension. So, let's go with a, let's say if we want a 6 inch diameter, which would mean it'd be a 3 inch radius. Okay, so now the height on down here, if you'll notice on your left hand corner, it says 0.39 now the height is actually going to be the thickness on this particular piece okay so we are going to get rid of all those numbers and we are going to call it a one inch because we want ours one inch thick okay now you notice that the position this is in is not going to really work uh, it don't show very good so what we're going to do is we're going to change the angle okay we're going to go 180 degrees there and then we're going to our axis we're going to go into the y and do a 71 don't ask me why 71 it just seems like a good number anyway that comes out to be a good angle for you to see what we're going to work with now that we've got the main part of the body of the pulley okay didn't take too long now we're going to go up get a torus torus whatever they call it however you want to pronounce it and now we're going to do the same to it so let's go ahead and change the angle on it to a 180 let's go down to the y-axis change it to a 71 or the z a 71 and there you go now this in here has got to be the same size as what the first one so the first radius is going to be a 3 okay the second radius is going to be the diameter of your race now the race in there we are going to put it it's a one inch so if we want a 0 0.5 maybe too big uh, let's go ahead and put it in position okay so we go back placement let's go to Y now we're going to, have to go with a half because it's half inch to center and to do this on that you gotta go zero always put your zero and then a point and then five and now that put it right in the center but see that is the same size as what your uh, main body is so obviously we're going to make that just a little smaller so let's go with a how about a 0 0.35 let's see what that does now that works even better now look there you got just enough half of that's down in there and the half that's in there is going to make the race so now we're going to do what we're going to cut this now to cut this and now what process that is is that you're going to take this piece here and this piece here and you're going to cut this piece out and any part that touches this will make that same indention into that piece okay so what you do is you click on the piece you want to keep first hit central click on the piece you want to cut out and then right up here at the top you'll see right here it'll say make a cut of two shapes click and there it is there's your race for your pulley now see that's simple it don't get much simpler than that now the only thing we want to do now is we want to make a uh, hole so grab another cylinder and in order to get that at the same angle you're going to have to put everything the same 180 go to your axis and your y is a 71 and your z is a 71 just seems to work pretty good this way okay now the radius of this we're going to call it uh, 1 okay now no i tell you what let's make it a let's make it a uh, 0 0.75 3 quarter radius okay now 3 quarter 75 radius let's go ahead and measure this now if you you can zoom this in and we'll put it right there 
to right there and the distance is one point well one and a half inch hole so now you got a one inch one and a half inch hole let's go ahead and delete that out now if you want it smaller bigger whatever you want to do okay let's turn it now if you notice on this side it's not all the way through so that means we got to make this longer so we'll hit cylinder height is now your length and let's make it three inches now you can see it sticking out back here right okay so let's go ahead and hit let's cut this out so let's go main body that we're going to keep central part we're going to cut go up here make a cut you now have a hole in your pulley so that's how you make your pulley pretty easy if you want to make it more complex if you want to add more detail to it that is simple enough just go up and grab you another torus and do the same thing unfortunately you got to do all this repetitive stuff and let's put it on our axis so they're the same 71 now you notice how it's right there in the center okay that's perfect there's a lot of things you can do with these solids okay we're going to go with a four uh you know what i forgot that was a three okay so let's go with a two let's try that now on this oh this radius if you make this too big it's going to cut in okay so it can't be no more than a one inch radius so we are going to go with a let's see here let's get rid of all this stuff let's go with a zero point uh, four now see that right there pretty cool okay actually if you just left that it probably wouldn't look too bad but we're going to cut that out now before we do that we got to have one for the other side right so instead of having to go through all them numbers again just click that piece you want go up here to edit down here it says duplicate selection now you got two of them there just go down and click the bottom one or either whichever one you want and go to placement position go to y okay now that's a one inch piece so you want it to go back one inch okay now if you go back here now you got one on each side okay let's go click the main body of the pulley hit central then hit the part you want cut cut now you got a race on the side so that gives a little extra design to it so it does this this side the same way and hit cut now you got a little more complex pulley see got a little more pizzazz to it and that's how you make your pulley now if you wanted to add holes you can add holes by just manip manipulating your parts putting them through the center however you want to do it <coughs> say if you want to make this a little different you can just grab that race right there at the edge put a chafer on it and let's go with a uh, I don't know what do you think a uh, point two five let's see if that'll work okay we put a 0.25 now look at it see how the it I'm pointing at it here as if you can see it with my finger uh, <laughs> so now you got your chafer edge right here just kinda gives a little better better look you can come over this side here and do the same thing on it hit chafer right here see it then come down here at the bottom now if you can't see it you can always expand this out see then come down here to the bottom and select what you want we have 0 0.25 it's already got it zero and hit OK now you got that right there too so so now now we have a little more complex design okay see there all the way around now let's see if we can make this spin there we go now we can just let it spin around and see however you want stop it wherever it goes okay now if you don't know how to turn this with these uh, arrows like this what you do is go over here right click navigation style put it on CAD okay right here see that CAD okay once it's on CAD then the scrolling wheel will make it go large and small 
press down on the scrolling wheel and you can move it any way you want now press down on the scrolling wheel and right click and then you can turn it okay now if you want to make it a spin you do that push down on the scroll right click as you're moving it and as fast as you move it let up on the uh, right click and then it'll go into a spin takes a little practice and the faster you move it the faster it will spin just a little something to play with don't mount to nothing but it's fun sometimes so but let's go ahead and while we got it here let's check our dimensions let's check this way here I'm gonna go from this edge to this edge and it's a point eight five I messed up there somewhere didn't I okay well let's go to this one and let's see what we got here now this mark right here okay this measurement this is temporary okay so when you delete out of this this will disappear uh, it's not going to be permanent so it's not going to be part of the plan so you can clear it hit close if you want something part of the plan that's going to be permanent come up here to the top you see that little tape measure now you can measure it now you can go over here and click on that edge and you can click on that edge and it'll actually draw the line all the way through see and it'll stay there so when you move that around point or 5.9839 now remember now when you do that when you're going across on a radius and you're really not hitting a point if you're off a little bit this is going to change so you notice that's not exactly square so this is not going to be at the exact number so just to let you know anyway you can go over here and you can delete that but whenever you use this tape measure up here to the left it's permanent unless you delete it it becomes part of the drawing or if you use this one right here this tape measure here is just for you to let you know as you're building what you've got so like if I want that raised to that raise these don't do it but this one does okay but this is also temporary that's just something to let you know anyway this is how we build a pulley on primitives uh, now we are getting ready to build a uh, or draw rather I say uh, the plans for a wood mill that we did we're going to do a little video on it and that's the reason we're doing the pulley is because it is part of the wood mill that is why Allen's Woodworking is doing a metal object <laughs> imagine that but anyway we build machineries uh, do our, some of the things that we want to do and we built a mill slash lathe that will actually cut uh, rope twist and barley twist table legs as well as eight foot columns so subscribe because you're definitely going to want to see that okay well thank you and uh, we'll have more uh, we're going to be coming up with a program doing uh, plans that we can actually email to you and then you can be able to grab and open up in FreeCAD and manipulate any way you want so uh, we'll get into that a little bit later and uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe Thank you.